come on a Dollar Tree road trip with me and let's see what we can find. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Liz. For today's video, we are doing a bit of a Dollar Tree haul. I recently went on a trip and I stopped at as many Dollar Trees as I could along the freeway to see what all kinds of different things that each Dollar Tree carried. I know a lot of people have trouble finding things that we use in our DIYs, so I wanted to show you all the different things that I could find in every Dollar Tree, see how different each one is. And I know I'm in a bit of a different setting. I have construction going on in my basement, so I tried to get as far away from the noise and the craziness as I possibly could. So if you hear construction noise, or you hear my kids, or anything else, I'm so sorry. But uh, this, this is just my life right now. Complete uh, chaos and construction and noise 24-7. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, it ends soon. But do what you gotta do. So we're, we're in my room where we're gonna be today. So on my little trip, we drove about three hours. Obviously all these Dollar Trees were still in Utah, but different counties, all pretty spaced out. So I wanted to show you everything that I found. I tried to find things that were different from the other Dollar Trees. Maybe some of them carried it, maybe some of them didn't. And I just tried to purchase things that I could only find at those specific Dollar Trees, um, try to buy something new every single time, uh, maybe that I hadn't seen before. So within all these Dollar Trees, a lot of them still carried a lot of Halloween and fall items. Typically around this time, I feel like Dollar Tree is out of those fall and Halloween stuff. Like if you didn't get it at the very beginning when they first put it out, you weren't gonna get it now, but they still have a ton of fall and Halloween stuff. And then the majority of them were stocking their Christmas stuff, some more than others. And um, I was pleasantly surprised by a lot of the Christmas stuff that I was able to find that I'll show you here in a minute. And then I did go down each crafters square section to try to see if I could find anything different than the other stores. And I did find a couple of fun things that I'm really excited about. So let's go ahead and jump into our haul. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to try to show these in the order in which I bought them from each store. I'm, I will try my best to remember, um, but we'll see how it goes. So from the first store that we stopped at, I found a bunch of these trees. I know some other people have found them, so they're not necessarily new or unseen, but they were the first time that I've seen them. I try going to several Dollar Trees in my area when I go shop, and none of them have carried these so i found several of them and i just picked up these ones they also had some ones that were like glittery and i try to stay away from those as best as i can because i don't want all the glitter in my house i i try so hard to stay away from it but i found these trees and i thought these were so cute you don't even have to diy with them you could just set them around you know maybe an entryway table maybe you have shelves or built-ins or anything like that you could set them on so i grabbed several of these i also found a couple of these cute little bags they say i'm dreaming of a farm house Christmas and this is horse-drawn sleigh rides and I thought these were so cute they did have a couple other ones I believe different uh, sayings on the front but I think these would be so cute sitting if you have like a sleigh you could set them inside of there um, I'm trying to think of other <laughs> DIYs that you could do with them. But the first thing that comes to mind is setting them inside a Santa sleigh and having them be like the little bags in his sleigh. I think that would be really cute. And then only at, I think it was only at one Dollar Tree, I was able to find gift boxes. And I'm really excited for these because I think that they look so cute. Obviously use them for your gift boxes or you could DIY with them, which I'm planning on doing. But I thought they had some really pretty patterns like this one with all the mason and jars and um, the little floral arrangements. 
that are inside of it on the other side there's these trucks that i think are so cute i don't know which i don't know what the middle one is quite yet we could probably open it up and find out and then the other box looks like this like a cute little present i think that's adorable it says the merriest season on it so i picked up those ones i also got some bigger ones i thought this one was cute it's like a big tree that says noel let it snow peace and joy merry and bright in the shape of a tree the other side is just this kind of checkered pattern and then the third one is i think it's like the exact same yeah it's like the exact same to this one kind of yeah yes <laughs> it's the same it's just in a bigger box and i think this pattern is adorable this one has all of these trees on it and some holly berries on the other side and then the third box is this one that says merry christmas and then this last one again with this pattern it's just kind of a darker color i feel like they've all kind of like arranged in like light to dark. So this one is more of a brown with the um, mason jars and the floral arrangements. And then this one, you have some florals on this side. And this was just a two piece box set. So you only get those two boxes. All right, for the next store, I have a bag right here. And this is just a couple of things that I found. Um, this store didn't have too much different than the other stores that I had been to. But one thing that I thought was really cute were these little ceramic trees. I thought that these were adorable. You could leave them the same. You could paint them a different color, but I found white and then this really pretty like greeny blue, tealy, minty type color. <laughs> and if you know me, you know that I love this color. I am so drawn to this kind of color so i'm definitely going to be keeping these the same and using them as decor around my house for christmas time and then i also found the other pattern in this color as well so i picked up about five of these trees in white and in this color and i just think these are gorgeous and then i also found these at this dollar tree i don't know exactly what these are called are they candle holders are they something different. I'm not sure what their actual purpose is, but they were in the candle section. So I'm assuming they're candle holders. It could be completely wrong, but I thought it'd be fun to do some sort of DIY with these. Maybe turn them like this, set something on top and make a little stand out of them. I am not totally sure, but I picked them up. They were something different and I want to see what I can come up with DIYing with them. All right, so this next store, I picked up a couple of these hanging signs with the beads at the top. This says, believe in the magic of Christmas. I thought this would be fun to redo and DIY. You can pop this frame off the front and do something different in the middle. And then you have the cute little beads to hang your sign. So I did pick up two of those. I also found a bunch of these cute little mini ornaments that I thought were adorable. So you have trees and it's got the red and black buffalo check on the front. And then you have these stockings with the same pattern. And then you have these stars or snowflakes. You have these snowflakes with the white and black buffalo check on them. And I thought these were really fun. You can find things like this similar at Walmart. And I love doing DIYs with these little mini ornaments. So I picked up these and I believe that there were even a couple other uh, designs that you could get as well. But I thought these were really fun. Last year, I had a ton of fun making a DIY with these wooden skates. So I found them again at one of the Dollar Trees. I didn't see these anywhere else besides this one. So I picked up a set and we are gonna see what I can come up with this year for them, but I thought that they're really fun. And that DIY that I did using these skates, I feel like was one of my favorite DIYs of last year. So I picked up another one and we'll see what else I can come up with. I also found this Believe tag that I think is so cute. Whether you leave it just like this or you flip it on its back and you do a different DIY with this, you could even make it double-sided front and back, or you can just 
leave it just like this and use it as decor for your home. Either way, I thought this one was really cute. I also found these mini pine picks that I thought were really fun. There was this one and at another store I found one that was frosted and then I found other ones that weren't frosted. I don't know if maybe that other one just didn't get frosted or if there were two different kinds, but I picked up this one. This one has a bit of like kind of a snow frost look to them but I love using picks in my DIYs instead of having to cut, you know, picks apart. These ones already come in like little mini sizes, perfect for round signs or any other DIY that you're looking to add the pine look to. So you get six of them and I picked up one pack of these. From this Dollar Tree, I also found this Christmas tissue paper that I thought was so cute. I love the holly leaves and berries and then you have one that says like Merry Christmas all over it and you could do some DIYs with this. You could use this just as a regular gift tissue uh, but I think that I may try to do a couple DIYs with it. We'll see what I can come up with. I also found some gift bags and I thought this one was really cute. It says Merry Christmas in the middle. How adorable would this be as a really large sign? So we'll see if I can transform it into a big showpiece sign. I mean, it's not ginormous by any means, but it's fairly large. So I thought it would be really fun to try to turn this into a big sign to hang up for Christmas or sit on my entryway table. Um, just have a nice statement piece. I also like that it has the faux ship lap in the back, like the wood rustic look to it. So I picked up one of those. Okay, at this next Dollar Tree, these were the only things that I picked up. They were the only things that were different than the other Dollar Trees that I went into and I was so pleasantly surprised because I've never seen these anywhere else and I'm so excited to show them to you. I found these little hanging signs with the beads. There are a ton of different ones. So you have these rectangular ones, you have these honeycomb shaped ones, you've got some round ones and then you have some square ones so there are four different ones and I believe I picked up every single one that was different and I picked up several of each so that I could do several DIYs with them since I can't find these anywhere close to my house I decided you know I, I will stock up so I grabbed multiple of these but I thought these were fun these would be perfect for chocolate tour transfers Cricket decals, um, anything else that you wanted to throw on the front that you could find, I think would be really fun. So I think that these are adorable. I love that they have the faux ship lap lines on them, and they also have the frames around that you could pop off if you wanted and try to redo them because a couple of them, they're a little wonky. They're, you know, not totally um, on there straight. Uh, by any means, you know, they're not perfectly on there. So you could probably take these off and re-put them on there so that they look a little bit better. But uh, either way, I thought that these were such a fun find and that's all that I picked up from this Dollar Tree. And I didn't find these at any other of the Dollar Trees that I went to. I even stopped at one that was fairly close by to this Dollar Tree and that one didn't have it either. So these were only found at one of the Dollar Trees that I went to. All right, so this Dollar Tree, I found this little snow sign. After I found this one, I did see more like this at other Dollar Trees. So you could probably find this hopefully at every Dollar Tree that you could go to. I feel like it's a pretty standard thing in most of them. So I found this little piece that would be cute to throw on a sign. And then the mini pine picks. Again, this one doesn't have any of the frosting or, you know, the snow um, effect to the pine picks on this one like the other one did. So I picked up these ones. These ones are just plain. I also found these adorable gingerbread ornaments at this Dollar Tree. I don't think that I saw these at any of the other ones, but I think that these are so cute and would look really cute in some DIYs. So I plan on making a couple DIYs with these guys. I also found these wooden shape snowflakes. I don't think that I saw these at any of the other Dollar Trees. They had other pieces like this, like the gingerbread men 
and I think they have stars possibly, but I found these snowflakes and I thought those would be really fun for some DIYs. I also found some pillowcases that I think are adorable. They're a burlap type material and I think it'd be really fun to add these to some pillow inserts for Christmas time. So you got this gingerbread one that says baked fresh daily, gingerbread and baking. That's what it looks like in that picture right there. And then you have this one, which may be my favorite. This is a farm fresh cut Christmas trees, pine, spruce, and fir. And it looks like this. How fun is that? I love it. And then this one is this Candy Canes Cookies Co. I think this one is adorable as well. I don't remember if they had any other ones besides these three, but I think for $1.25 and you have a pillowcase that you can throw on some pillow inserts and use these, um, you know, during the Christmas season is really nice because pillowcases can be super expensive or just buying, you know, a regular holiday pillow you know, 15 to $20 per pillow. It's a lot of money. And I just bought three pillowcases for, you know, $3.75, which I think is a really good deal. At this Dollar Tree, I also found these mini tags. These say, let it snow. I plan on DIYing with them. If you know me, you know that I love tag DIYs. <laughs> I just, I can't help myself. I love the mini tags. I love DIYing with them. I love, you know, just the little tag shape. It's just, I love it. So I did pick up a couple of those. And then lastly, I found this Merry and Bright sign. I did end up seeing some of these at a couple other Dollar Trees, but I think that this is really cute on its own or it would be perfect to DIY with. Again, it has that frame around it that you can take off and you can redo the sign and then put the frame pieces back on it. Um, but I just think that this is really fun. So I did pick up one of these. And then lastly for this store, it kind of got a little bent <laughs> because it was in my car while we were on our little trip. So I found this little leaf candle holder that I thought was really cute and I thought would be really fun for the fall season. I have a bunch of fall candles. One fact about me is I am a Bath and Body Works candle hoarder. <laughs> I love them. And in my front entryway table, there is a door and I stick all my candles in there and there's a ton of them. In fact, I got a candle out yesterday that I completely forgot that I purchased and was really excited to find it because it smelled so good. <laughs> and um, so that just tells you, I need to get my candles out more and light them because now I have something cute and fall-ish to stick my fall candles in and light them and it will be so cute. And I thought for $1.25, you can't beat it. And uh, yeah, so I did find this and I did end up seeing this one at another Dollar Tree. All right, and the last Dollar Tree that I went to was a little bit of a bust. They didn't have too much of anything that was different from any of the other Dollar Trees that I went to. But I did end up finding a wooden star that I don't think that I saw at any of the other Dollar Trees, but I know this should be pretty easy to find um, these star wooden DIY pieces. And then I also found some cute red and white gingham um, ribbon. And I don't think I saw these at any of the other Dollar Trees either, but I feel like it's not super uncommon and you should be able to find it pretty much anywhere. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun stopping at a whole bunch of different Dollar Trees in a three hour, you know, window to and from. I don't know how many miles it was, but it took three hours to get there and we stopped along the way um, throughout that. And it was just super interesting to see the differences between each Dollar Tree, seeing what different things that I could find from where I live here all the way to where we went. And I just think that it was a lot of fun. So I plan on doing some DIYs using these items. So stay tuned for my future videos where I DIY them. And if you guys want to see my trip and see where we went and all the fun that we had, stay tuned and follow my family vlog channel. It's a more thing. I will have it linked down below. That video should be coming soon within the next several days. So if you wanna check that out, I will leave a link to our YouTube channel where you can subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So I know that you guys like these kinds of videos and I can do more in the future. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.